So you hear wealth, like I'm saying that word a lot, and you're probably in your mind thinking stereotypically what wealth or what a millionaire looks like. And probably what I think of sometimes, right? You see a millionaire. We'll say Exhibit A. This is Lauren. I'm gonna just call her Lauren. I have no idea who she is, but she looks awesome. And you probably have seen a Lauren, maybe on Instagram, or maybe in your life you have a Lauren. And Lauren and her husband do really well. They drive awesome cars. They go snow skiing every summer. They go to the beach twice a year with their family. You know, they're, they're making together like $250,000 a year. They just bought a house that was worth like $2 million. Like, I mean, just, she's rich. Like you would look at Lauren and be like, yeah, yeah, y'all are doing really well. Like you're rich. Yeah. Then you see Jane. I'm calling her Jane. I saw her picture earlier. I was like, she's a Jane. Super sweet. Like Jane's great, right? But like, you know, she, you know, her clothes are pretty average. They drive used cars. They live in a pretty modest home, her and her husband. Together they make $90,000 a year. So pretty well, but nothing like extravagant. What if I were to tell you that actually Jane is richer than Lauren? Because here's the reality, you guys. It's called your net worth. Your net worth is what you own minus what you owe equals your net worth. What we don't know here about Lauren, sweet Lauren, yeah, she's looking good on the outside, terrible on the inside. Everything is on credit cards. They have car loans. They have a mortgage. They actually put nothing down on that brand new home they bought. And you think that they probably paid cash for it. They didn't. They put nothing down because they had nothing. They live paycheck to paycheck. They have no investments. They have no savings. They are stressed out. That is Lauren. Jane, Jane, well, Jane, get out of here, Lauren. Jane is actually amazing because they have a paid for house. They just paid off their house. They have no car payments. They save for retirement. So technically Jane's net worth is more than Lauren's. And you guys, like this is like not what we think of, is it? Like, again, I, I keep thinking over and over again, like we always see a picture of someone and we automatically think, oh, I bet they're really wealthy. But the people that are actually wealthy in America today, you don't even know who they are because they're not on TV and it's not all this glitz and glam. So for you guys, not only do I want you to get a positive net worth, but I want you to start building wealth so that you can change your family and you can change other people's lives. Because we say to live like no one else so later you can live and give like no one else. <laughs>